Hi folks, uh, today Karen's going to give you a quick demo on painting one of our Precinct 187 buildings. Uh, so she'll sort of show you the effects on this, on the bricks and, and the stones and a few other details. Uh, it'll sort of give you an idea of how to get a good result with quite a, quite quickly. Um, you know, the way Karen paints uh, a bit different to maybe some model painters paint. Um, but uh, so she'll she'll start. She's going to show some of this the one of the sort of brickwork panels first, anyway. So yeah. Hi guys. So today we're using a number seven brush, and I work really wet, so be prepared. <laughs> uh, so to start off with, I'm going to go into my terracotta red. And loading the brush really quite well, yeah. Take a tiny bit off, and then I literally just go around the exterior of where I want to go. Don't know if you can see that, and then across the bottom. So we've got that. Then go back into my water. Take a little bit, just a little bit, but thinner, and just blend that out. Then back in again, and right across. So we've got darker sections, we've got lighter sections, we've got, and then I'll go into a mixture of it's black and a dark brown, and then I'll go around the edge again. So while it's still wet. I want the two to blend. Yeah. And it's really where that wall would get messy and dirty anyways. And then to help that blend, I'll go back into my red again. So it's a lot wetter than what you guys use. Same again. And then just play about with it a little bit. Drag it in. Be too dark in areas, lift it, you know, put a bit more on. Just a case of playing around with it and seeing. So I like mine a bit patchy. I think it looks a bit it's more realistic. So I'll put go back in and pick darker areas out. And then and go back in with some really dark, it's like a black type of wash, just to pick out some other areas. Does that help? Yes, yeah, so what are the colours you have to use? I'm using the old Valhoe, yeah. now there's army paint and yeah. Valhoe paints. Yeah, so. so we've got that red one is the terracotta mm -hmm. and then I've got this matte black in the war paint which is just like any other black really, yeah so. yeah and then I'll mix that with it's the, like a chocolate brown isn't it yeah, yeah to get that that mid-tone of the brown and then I'll go back in with really really thin black just to pick out just to have a wash of black it's more like a wash just to pick out dirty areas like you could even go back in with your black and put something across there like that yeah, so it's quite random i mean yeah. i'll just zoom in on that um on the top section that you come in behind there and i'll just wet it off a little bit and let it sort of work its way it's not so precise Yes, I mean, look at that, the section you did earlier on that top yeah. of the door. Um, oh, this the one. Thing, yeah. Yeah. That's sort of dry, so you get, you get a nice effect. I mean, that's yeah. got the stone work done, which Ken will show you in a minute. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's quite nice. And this one I did before, guys, and you can see it's a lot, it's it's dry back really quite yeah, dry looks, looking. That one just looked quite bright when you yeah. initially done it, but it does but, sort of settle. Once it settles, some t I like to wait till it's all finished and then I'll go back in and I'll add, once it's really dry, and I'll add just little 
tiny bits to make it pop again see sort of just adding that red just brings it back to life and the same again with the brown so you're just adding more depth and more feel to it yeah which is quite quick once you've actually done the whole once you've done the whole thing it's literally just, just fired it quick, over go back over yeah. the top and just add where you think it needs so yeah right okay so, so you're going to show some stone so this well? this stone yeah we'll show you this stone so for this one, you've got a really, really nice base colour. I don't know what you used on that, John. That skeleton bone um, army painted primer. Yeah. But any sort of mortar stone colour, you know, in, in a way you may want to vary it for different buildings. Yeah. Um, as you go through the whole sort of city, you don't want them all the same colour. So. so here I'm just putting a little, if I can get it out, a bit of... The skeleton bone again, but in the paint, right, in the wall yeah, mm -hmm. paints. So the same colour. Same colour. And then just with our black and the brown before again. Now this is really quick. Don't be precious about this because we're going to play about with it. Once I get the paint on, then we just play with it and we'll go with the floor. I think that's the whole thing. Just don't be precious about it. Just go for it. It's fun, man. So I'll go for the dark to start with, so I'm going to go dark to light this time. So I'll go around and I'll get my dark bits in. And where I think it would dry too quick, I'll just wash it over with a little bit of water. Yeah. Then I'll go in again and I'll go in. Just same seven number, number seven brush. And then I'll go in for the brown, just a tiny little bit of brown that's too dry. Let's wet it up a bit. I mean, you can see on this one, the print wasn't the best. I think this is one of the no, ones but, yeah. where I was, I was trying to print fast, so I, I lack quality in the print. I don't know, but I where, think it adds a little bit of summit to yeah, it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter on this, so. Yeah. Um, so then we've got we've gone back to the bone, guys. I've put a bit of brown on, we've gone back to the bone. I'm literally just going to drag it over the top. And then I've got one of the colour, which is the earth. And just tiny bit of that. Just to warm it up a little Which bit. Which is sort of like a, a mid sort of, well, a, a sort of a tan yeah. sort of colour, so it's darker than So then that's really sort of, it's wet, but I always take the water out of the back of my brush. So in and then take it off and then literally go over like that. So we've got all them colours all mixed up and this is where I just have a bit of fun. And we go back in with a clean and dry brush and with a motion sort of like that I'll lift off but while you're lifting off you're actually blending the colours as well so and then I'll go back in with a bone and I won't hit everyone I'll hit an odd one because I don't want them all the same stones aren't all the same the more random you can be, the better. Sometimes you get a better effect. It looks a bit more lifelike. So if we sit back off that, and maybe go back again, and because it's going one way, I'm going to drag it. Really dry brush, and I'm going to drag it, pull it, and just pull just a little bit. So when you look at it, it's going that way. If you get my drift. And then back again. This bit is just a bit of playing around until you get what you want really. That's what I tend to do. But I just don't get over precious about it. And then I like to bring just some little dark bits across that edge bit again. And if you work wet and let it work for you, it sort of adds just touching I don't know it just adds a little bit of realism to it yeah in the end you're trying to get sort of an age look to the building yeah, uh, it's not, not a brand new be. building um, and then where you've missed bits don't worry about that at the minute go back because you might want to darken it down once it dries back like we did with this section mm -hmm. and then you just catch them there so do you want to see another bit of the wall or? I'll do one of the small. The small areas. Yeah. 
Or do you want to carry on and do the stone on the end on the where the lettering is? This. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it seems like you're working with the stone colours. Yeah. So. Same again, I'm going with really I'll start dark to light again. So I literally just go in on the windowsill, this number seven brush again and just put it in. And if you think it's going to dry on you, you're going to be left with harsh lines, just go and wet them lines just for now. Don't, you know, overstress about it, don't overthink it. Go back in again and I'll go right across the bottom. Just one big one. And this is where I'm actually mixing my colours on, on the actual thing. So I'll go back into that. Nice warm tone again, and I'll add. Is that the sort of tan colour that you use? Yeah. yeah. So we've got that, and then I'll go back with a clean brush. It's quite damp, not solidly wet, but quite damp. So you're damp. Just using the two colours over yeah. the top then? So it's just two colours over the top of the uh, skeleton bone yeah. primer. And then just let that dry back. Because that, with that type of expansive thing, what about in the letters? Stone. Are you just leaving them light or? No, I'm going to go back again now. And I'm going to let the. I'm just cleaning up as I go to a degree. Just add where I want to add a little bit more. I'll get the bone while it's still wet. And I'll go back in. Not for precise, guys, as you'll have gathered. And then I'll go back in with the dark and I'll just drip sort of in. So yeah, just going dark in the letters yeah. where the dirt's gonna collect yeah, and where the dirt's gonna collect. Yeah. So Karen comes from a background of figurine paint, so Border Fine Arts, she was a master painter and a trainer there for over ten years. So the the type of figurines that she used to paint you know, they'd use this technique because it was all about speed there. Um, yeah, it had to be about obviously speed. Obviously the quality, it was, you know, it had, had to be, be one good. of the best there, so. There's a fine line between speed and quality and that just takes time to, to get. So now I've gone in there, that area's gone really dark, yeah. That's okay. I'm just going to go back in with my, the warmer tone, I can't remember which that was, John. I'm getting a the earth. camera shake. I'm yeah. Steady up. Go yeah. back with the earth and then I'm just going to literally just go over the top like that. Because I want some of that warm in there and then back again. And I'm just going to dry it off. Because I don't want it all to be. See, it's not quite dark, but if I'll just, I'll just go back to... Once uh, that goes back... I'll have a look at this, the police. Uh, this is the one that's there. So yeah. as it dries it back, it really settles down and sort of softens it so it doesn't look as harsh. Um, I mean, on this one, the camera's done the green on there. Yeah. Uh, have you got green set up or...? No, but I can set that? some up if you want. I'm right, just going to... We can set that up and, uh, and just quickly show you that. So I just want to go back in with a little bit of bone on this before yeah. I move on. And the windows, you've just used black on the windows, haven't you? Yeah, it's quite. It's not like really harsh black. It's yeah, had so a little bit of. Little, it's a little bit patchy, a little bit thin. Yeah, because I like that effect. I don't like it like solid. Because again, on on the looking across at the police one, once you know, once that's done, uh, it is quite effective. Um, if you want to go different colours on them, then they're fine. So if I stick that on there till I mix some colours, I need some greens, hun. Yeah, okay. Just one second. So now we're going to show you some of the mossy green We just had a areas. paint malfunction there, yeah. so I hadn't shook the paint and it went up everywhere, so <laughs> the lid came off. So, so uh, slight pause. Yeah. So back so to we're back. the green. So what we're using, you've got, what have you got greens-wise? You've got... Um, Two shades of green and a yellow, which yeah. are, there we go, that's what they are. And yeah, that's what, um, so it's sort of like a mossy green, a slightly brighter one yeah. and, a, and a yellow. Yeah. 
bear with me guys i haven't done this one for a while so yeah i mean the effect you're trying to get you see it on the top of that one uh it's, it's just gonna add a bit of age to it. it's really nice on the bricks i think um because, and we yeah. use a little bit of black as well so i'm using a number two number two brush yeah. number two brush and i'll go in with that mid green it's really bright but don't be worried don't be frightened and wet again so i just where i think the moss is going to grow down we'll do it down this corner and literally just randomly tip just the tip of your brush don't put the belly of your brush down it's a different technique so just your brush down so i mean this is definitely going to be useful if you're going for a post-apocalyptic sort of look on these with your zombies and things then um you know you might add more green in you know yeah. you're gonna start adding grass into the into the streets and, so I'm gonna and go things in with, like that so sorry hon, i'm gonna go in with the mossy green it's quite dirty that green and then i'm gonna go in with a tiny touch of yellow but we're gonna knock it back anyways but all i want is like tiny little bits of sharp yellow coming through just to give it a bit of dimension and then I get my black. That's quite thin, that black actually. I could do it a little bit thicker. And the same again, just literally. Do you more or less adding light and shade to the, yeah. to the green there with the black and the yellow? Yeah. And it does dry back again. And I'm just playing with it a little bit. Softening some areas off, leaving some. Let me look at this now. It's a bit too, uh, for my liking, it's a bit too harsh. No? Harsh, but it's a bit too uh, solid, yeah, as in yeah. one area. So I'm just going to break it up a little bit and put a little bit extra over there. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's the demo done for today. Uh, we'll show you other details, uh, like the doors, which are quite simple. Uh, the grey roof um, and we'll, we'll post videos uh, pictures of this one on the on the page just to show you it finished um, and there will be more tutorials with uh, with some of the other buildings to show you you know maybe the likes of the uh, the dockside with the water the boats so there's quite a lot to do okay thanks guys uh, we'll see you later bye